cashing in. Secret agent, assassin. All you girls and boys will taste the poison from my magic pen. Hey everybody, this is your girl Sway from Straight Nurse Stuff. Today I'll be announcing the winner for my last giveaway for this cool Japanese box, Star Trek Starship mystery box. And the winner is, drum roll, Perfect Stranger. Yep, Perfect Stranger won because she was the only one who did two things, which was subscribe and comment below saying that I want this. Hey, it's all good. I am a new YouTube channel. I totally, I, I, I'm, I'm very humbled and I'm happy somebody did it. So I'm really happy to send this to you. And thank you for being a fan. And thank you for all those people that's watching the channel. Even though not a lot of people competed, but a lot of people are watching the YouTube channel and, and I'm very grateful. So keep in mind, at the end of this, I will be giving away something really, really cool. Now I'm gonna keep doing this, but I hope more of you um, get involved and, and try to win some of these things that I'm giving away. Okay, without further ado, today we're gonna be unboxing the D7. That is the Klingon Battle Cruiser. Now, the Klingon Battle Cruiser, this is again from Eagle Moss, okay? The Klingon Battle Cruiser was for a glimpse, you see it on the 2009 Star Trek movie. So, um, very, very, very cool. I'm very excited to, to get this. This is a special collection from Eagle Moss. Again, it's the ship and also the magazine as well. Now, just keep in mind, at the end of this, I will be giving something away um, that is kind of uh, similar to what we're talking about here today. So very exciting, stay tuned. Okay, so this is the magazine. We talked about this before. It comes with the Eco Moss ships. Um, really great read, it goes into the ship a little bit and sometimes it talks about the history of the show. Good read, nice to have. Definitely try to get the magazine. Not every ship comes with the magazine, but um, if they do, I would definitely try to acquire it if I were you. All right, so let's go ahead and dig into the ship. So here is the Klingon Battle Cruiser that was starred in 2009 movie, the Star Trek 2009 movie. This is the Eagle Moss. This is one of the special collections. So it's a little bit larger, which is great. I was just gonna go ahead and dig in. So I decided to do a little bit things a little bit differently today, give you a better angle. Hopefully this works really well. Whoa! Man, look at that color. I hope this is showing on film. This color, it's gorgeous. I was not expecting this. You know what I was expecting? I was expecting army green. Look at this magazine. You see that color? It's like army green color, right? This is more like cyan or celery color. Uh, more like a futuristic green looking, very metallic, um, silvery green color. It is really pretty. Love it, love it already. Okay, a little bit on the heavy side, I love that. So it's, a, it's bigger than normal. Okay, so here is the stand that comes with it, with all the Eagle Moss ships. It's heavy, it's got the velour in the back. It has the, tells you what ship it is, and the velour impedes it from sliding around. Perfect, a little stand. Go ahead and set this up. Actually, I'm not gonna put it on just yet because I wanna take a look at it and we wanna talk about it. Man, this is so pretty and I'm so happy that it's kinda heavy. So that means it's die cast, I can feel it. Um, definitely die cast for this bad boy right here. You know the first thing I noticed on this ship right off the bat is that it doesn't have a lot of paint on it but it does have a lot of texture look at all the texture on this ship i really love that that is that is something that you you i was hoping for for this warbird is the texture 
Look at this reactor armor, these deflector plates. This is actually um, on a higher plane than the wing itself. So these deflector plates are all over the ship. Not only this sits higher than the ship, so it's not just lines or grooves, but it actually comes out. But they're also in a different color. It's almost like a little bit of gold tone to it. These ones over here, this these plates has two different tones. Like half gold and half the same color as the ship, but again also it's it sits higher. These are plates on top of the ship. So that's really cool. That's the first thing I noticed. Really pretty. Let's look at this neck. Love the details on the neck. A lot of texture. That is definitely cool. So we can see right here, there is some paint. I think that's it. There's not a whole lot of paint on this ship, but this really stands out, this gold right here. I'm pretty sure that is the cloaking device because you know, usually the cloaking device is on the neck and because this design is a little bit different, I'm not seeing anywhere else where it could be the cloaking device. Now with this, it makes it look kind of like it's glowing. That's gotta be the cloaking device. Please comment if you know something different than I do. And right here, these are, looks like weapons because they're facing different directions. See, towards the front, to the side, to the rear. These gotta be your weapons. Very cool. And at the head of the neck, that is your bridge. Right here, down here. The top of that circle, that's usually your sensor dome for the warbirds. Oh, look at this. There's some paint. The windows. These are some windows. Okay, so there's some paint on here. Not your black windows like normally you have. These are more like a white silver color windows. Nice. Very nice. Let's take a look at the nacelle. So, the cell on each side of the wing. And what I notice here, a lot of times you have the nacelles that's kind of like, you got this like plastic piece in the middle, right? And you'll see like it's turquoise or red or something like that. Um, this doesn't look like it has a plastic piece at all. It looks like it's just still die cast on the inside as well. It's not like shiny piece of plastic. I like that. I like it. Let's take a look at the back. Ah, see? See what I'm talking about? Like, okay, so these plastic pieces right here, right, in the rear. So usually that's where you have, like, same same plastic piece for the nacelle. But in this case, it's just in the back. That looks really pretty. Very nice. Here's the other side. Same, you have the nacelle on this side as well. That looks really good. Let's take a look at the underbelly, see if there's the same details. Wow, that star dome thing really stands out, doesn't it? That's pretty cool. Okay, so the plating in the back looks like these are not the same as the front. This is kind of normally what you get on these ships when you have these texture, but they're like lines draw in, right? Um, but that's pretty much like a flat surface, except you feel the grooves on these plating. Unlike the front, what we just saw, these are higher than the actual wing. So these are pieces put on top of the wing. Gives you more of a texture. They did not do that for the back. The back, still really pretty though, you know. So they saved a little bit more detail on the back. 
you have the plating, but it's done by the lines, have different colors, the, still the same, the gold and the, this, this beautiful blue color on the back. A lot of these de details looks like it's done with more lines than um, additional pieces added on like this right here. Okay, so here's your neck. Here's the weapons. I'm glad they did the weapons in the bottom too because they're supposed to. Very nice. So they also did the same weapon on the bottom as you can, you can even see that. That's very good detail right there. Okay. So right here, that should be your um, your photon torpedo right here. Kind of simple. Maybe I, I wish maybe they did a little bit more with this um, photon torpedo. But right here, that's that's what we're looking at. Um, like no paint, just what. Um, just enough indication, enough texture, so you know that's that's where it is. But all in all, very pretty. I love this. <laughs> what does that remind you of? How cool. All right. All in all, just really gorgeous. This color, I can't I can't get over it, and I can't get over the weight because you know, it's even though it expands really wide. It doesn't have that much material, so for it to be heavy, which is good. Let's see see how big this is. This is, see, it's, it's bigger than my hand. And if I, even if I put my hand at the bottom of there, it's still a little bit longer than my hand. So it's a good size. I'll probably put it next to the special collection. Um, either way, it's definitely going on, on the shelf. Great ship. I'm happy I have it. Awesome. Okay, so if you stayed till this far, please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell button so that way you're alerted every time I make a new video. Okay, if I forgot to mention earlier, Perfect Stranger, just go ahead and DM me on my Instagram. My Instagram is Tway underscore fit underscore fields. Okay, and I will write it in here as well. Tway fit fields. Okay, so today, I'm giving away something really cool. If you like the ship that we just talked about, this is what I'm giving away. It's the Cleon Attack Cruiser. It is super badass. I am I'm so happy to have this, but you know what? Why not? I, I'm, I really enjoy making these videos, so I hate to part with it, but it's yours. You just have to do two things. One is subscribe to the YouTube channel, and two is comment below and saying that I want this, okay? If I get 50 people in this pool to do this, I will pick a winner. 50, that's it. All you gotta do is subscribe and comment below saying that I want this, and I will pick a winner, and I will, I will ship this to you. This is the most advanced in this class. It's Eagle Moss, so it's die cast. You know it's good quality and I hope you like it as much as I do. Well, that's it today. Thank you for staying tuned. See you next time. Right back to where we should have always been. We ain't taking no loss, we were born to win. Even when the situation's looking more than grim, we getting more than them, we wanted more than them. Start with nothing at the start, get more at the end. Get raw with a pen, do a tour with my friends. I hit them with a rhythm worth more than a bend. Hit it, then I quit it, then I get more friends. I'm with the car,